Okay, folks, Dave Brady back. First section, we imported a SPICE model that came from the TI site, uh, an LM339, and we associated with a, a comparator symbol with it so that we quickly got a good symbol. In part two, we created this little test circuit um, so that we can set it up. And in this section, we'll go ahead and simulate and make sure that we imported the SPICE model and operates properly. Now, we created this schematic. I went through real quick, or depending upon your perspective, very slowly and uh, associated all the different values but there's a quick check that I like to run using the project browser so when I look at the project browser it'll show me things that I have named because it'll apply the name that I gave to them and things that I have not named because it'll start with a dollar sign so I didn't name um, our comparator so let's just name it real quick comp A and I had two nets I didn't name it looks like so that net there right now this is actually kind of an important net that's our threshold voltage net so let's call that let's call that threshold voltage alright so I suppose if we wanted to we could really clean this thing up by going in here and renaming this net in so that would be neg and comp a now everything is named uh, at this point we want to go ahead and create our simulation services now you notice how I have it I always hit the netless button you don't really need to do that anymore if you come over here and hit the sources button it'll automatically make sure your netless is up to date so I take that in mind and again in e 2007.3 the sources dialog is made easier to use so you can just double click on the first spot to create new or to edit what's already there so we're going to have an input wave and we're going to connect that to sig in and ground and let's give this a DC voltage let's go ahead and give it a magnitude and a phase and let's give it a transient of a piecewise linear and select table so we can create the table on the fly at time zero I want a value of zero so let's go ahead and add that at time 0.5 I want a value of 12 add that time 1 I want a value of zero and then we want to repeat that until our simulation expires. All right, so there we go. Now we need to set up our DC voltages. So if, let's say V ref, V ref, ground, and we're gonna make that I don't know 12 volts. Now we need VCC for our comparator. You notice I'm just double clicking to go through that a little bit quicker. That's going to be 15 volts. And we're using the comparator to power a logic circuit, so I guess it's a DC voltage. We'll make that 5 volt old technology. Alright, so now our sources are all set up. You notice we haven't corrupted the schematic at all. You can take it to layout, PCB layout, just fine. Let's set up some simulation uh, criteria. So DC analysis, enable it, sweep. I want to sweep a source. Source I want to sweep is the input wave. Uh, I'll start it at zero, ramp it to 12. Running for I don't know, 10 millivolts. Add. Okay. Time domain enable. End time was I don't know two seconds. Print time. H max. H min. All right. Frequency analysis. I'm just turning everything on. Run that from 10, 
That's out of 10 meg. Good. Simulate. Oh. I wonder if I messed up the setup. We'll see in a minute. Transient analysis. We want to look at SIG out versus SIG in. Yep, that's exactly what we're expecting to see. Well, let's get the threshold voltage out there so we can see that indeed it's working. So you can see, let's put a cursor on here. When the input wave exceeded the threshold the threshold voltage, the comparator turned on, sinking the current to ground. When the input wave was below the threshold voltage, then the comparator is off, so you get that 5 volts. So that looks good. Let's see what the DC analysis had to say. So we got SIG in, SIG out. And let's see what it says the voltage was. So right around 6. Let's see what our threshold voltage was. Yep, right at 6. <coughs> so that all looks good. I suppose if we wanted to, we could plot the AC as well. So... Not very many interesting things here. Alright, it's not a good circuit for AC analysis. All right, so we imported the uh, part. We connected it to a little test circuit. We set up the simulation, ran the simulation, got our part back, and yeah, it looks like it's working right. So you know, in detail, you'd have to go back and look at current and stuff like that. But uh, generally speaking, from a top-level analysis, yeah, this thing works. So that's how you easily bring a spice model off the web into. Hyperlinks analog and use it within the DX designer environment. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.